Fabulous Chef. So in today's video, let's see how to make a very delicious sweet recipe, which is a sesame seed balls recipe. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. So let's see how to make this sesame seed ball sweet. It's mainly auspicious on Vinayagar Chaturthi day, but generally you can make the sweet and store it in a bottle for about one week to 10 days and give it as a nice snack, a healthy snack for kids and for all the family members and friends. Uh, instead of giving a chocolate, it's always better to give a healthy snack for kids, you know. So let's get started and let's see how to make this delicious sesame seeds ball sweet. Today I've taken about half a kg of white sesame seeds, half a kg of jaggery, half a coconut which is grated and we need about half a cup of Bengal gram. So now you can see that all the ingredients for our delicious sesame seed balls are ready. Let's get started and let's see how to make the recipe. Now let's take a pan. When the pan is nice and hot, let's add the sesame seeds. Today I have taken the white sesame seeds. You can also use the black sesame seeds and repeat the same process. Dry roast them. Do not add oil. Always remember to keep the flame in low. Roast the sesame seeds till you get a nice crackling sound. This makes the sesame seeds nice and crispy. Now you can see that the sesame seeds are well roasted. Now let's remove the sesame seeds and keep it in a plate and allow it to cool. Now in the same pan let's dry roast the coconut. Today I've taken about half a coconut. Let's dry roast them to remove all the moisture from the coconut. When the coconut is nice and dry, let's remove it from the flame and keep it aside. Now you can see that the coconut is well dried. Now let's remove it from the flame and keep it aside. Now for the jaggery, let's powder the jaggery in tiny pieces so that it is easy for us to put it in a mixer jar. Now take a mixer jar. Let's powder the Bengal gram first. You can see that the Bengal gram is nice and finely powdered now. Let's keep it aside. Now let's add the white sesame seeds which we roasted earlier into the mixer jar little by little and make it into a fine powder. Now mix this along with the Bengal gram powder. Now let's add the roasted coconut into the sesame seeds and also add the powdered jaggery into the sesame seeds. Now let's mix all the ingredients together. You can see that the jaggery the white sesame seeds powder which we made earlier, the grated coconut and the Bengal gram powder is all mixed together thoroughly. Now let's take this mixture little by little and add it into a mixer jar. We need to grind it once again before making into small laddus. So this is the consistency that we are looking for friends. Keep it aside and repeat the same process with all the mixture. Now apply some ghee on your palms and start making small laddus out of this sesame seeds mixture. The sesame seed balls can be stored in a bottle for about 10 days to 1 week. 
it is a really delicious and healthy snack so follow this recipe and do try this delicious sesame seed balls and enjoy it with your family and friends so that's it friends our delicious sesame seed balls are absolutely ready so follow the step by step instructions from the video and do try this delicious sesame seed balls at home so that's it friends our delicious mouth watering sesame seed balls are absolutely ready this is mainly auspiciously made on night of chaturthi day but you can always make it and store it in a bottle for about 1 week to 10 days and use it whenever necessary it's absolutely healthy and delicious so if you like this video like subscribe to my channel and keep watching fabulous chef see you all soon with another interesting recipe